Hey guys, what's happening? Happy Memorial Day weekend. Alright, so I wanted to get back on the uh, Celerius printer here. Um, so I've done a couple test prints with it. Um, everything seems like it's pretty good so far. Um, but I feel like I'm not getting good enough cooling in certain areas of the, of the board. Uh, if you're new to my channel, that's my Orca printer. And this is the Celeritas, my latest creation. Um, but I noticed that the back of the bed, back here, and the, uh, get that out of here. So in the back of the bed area over here, down here, I'm not getting a lot of airflow in the back of it. So I could tell that like in my prints, right? Because I'm not getting as good uh, quality in the back of the print. So, um, yeah, it's usually typically for or when you're dealing with PLA, it's usually airflow, cooling. So when I designed this thing, I had already designed it in mind of me changing tips because I knew I wasn't going to get it perfect on the, on the first shot. So I wanted to design different different style tips. And I'll go into Fusion 360 and show that to you. Um, the different like uh, concepts and ideas of channels and channeling. And So I, I created a, I mean, a, new, a new tip that has more... It's more... I guess condensed. See the, the air holes is smaller. Um, but since I have the free version of Fusion 360, I can't really do with that flow analysis. And I don't know how accurate that would be anyways with the air, but I'm assuming it would be pretty accurate. It's a commercial product, so... Um, yeah, if you're going to be paying that kind of money for it, then it's... I'm assuming it would probably work pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's originally, like I said, when I designed it, I could just pull these tips off. You know, the airflow tips. And, like I said, if this design doesn't work, then I'm just going to try maybe if I come up from the bottom. The, the idea is I want good air distribution around all corners. So if I'm doing like a round part or whatever, I want to get good airflow on the outside here, as well as the inside. And if you watch my channel and any of my other videos, I designed a new hot end I care, called the Airflow Express. But it's designed to channel air going into it. So it's got to machine it on my uh, indexer or fourth axis or whatever I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I want to be able to channel the air into it, you know. Um, just give it a little bit better cooling and flow. I'm actually, I might, right now it's rectangular, but I might even just go around, you know. But I know, I'm still playing with that. But right now I just want to get the airflow even on the bed. So what I was saying is that I'm getting more airflow here and here than I'm in the front. So at the back of the bed, I'm not getting as much airflow here. So, um, I got this little tool on Amazon. Put a link down below, it's like 13 bucks. But it's just like an air meter. So I was just going to turn the fan on and and do like an airflow test. See if I'm, you know, with the speed, like if, if, this, if the fan is, or the, the blades are spinning faster here or here. That way I can kind of test, but one of the issues is that when you're, you're blowing up both directions onto each other, you basically hit each other. You're almost like creating like a, a like a vortex right in here because you're canceling each other out, like right at the center. So, um, so I might just have to block one of these off as I test it to see just the, how evenly distributed the air is. Um, but I was saying also is like I said, I could design it. Well, when I, when I designed this, I could move this air box up and down because I wanted to get I wanted to be able to adjust it up and down so I get the perfect airflow. But what I could do is I get maybe better distributed flow. I could bring it from the bottom and bring it up, like around it up like that. So, um, all right. So let's uh, open this little thing up and we'll see how it works. See if I can. I'll do the old. I'll test the old one first. See if there's any difference, and then I'll go into the new one. See if it made any difference. Like I guess I, I made the. Actually, I forgot to show you this test print. So this is kind of an example of the front of the X. Like I said, what's funny is the more that I get this uh, tuned, if we can see that, the front, I'm getting good cooling in the front, but then look at the back. You can see that I'm not getting nearly as good cooling back there. Plus the sides too. You can see that, you know. Yeah, that's all cooling related. I mean, that's not even like... Yeah, but you can tell because obviously it was, it was like a mechanical, it would be bad at the bottom too. So this has to all be cooling related, as far as I, I'm concerned. So not to create a false reading, I took the, one of the, the tips off. That way I can go across this thing right here like this. Alright, so I'm going to set to Fahrenheit, miles per hour. Let's do a fan here. If you can see that, so it's... 
getting more power here in the center. See in the edge. So it starts getting a lot more air right there. I can't see that, but. Yeah, you can clearly see that I'm getting way less flow at the back here. Getting probably the most right there. So I'm gonna look at this a little bit. And uh, kind of making an observation here. All right, so, yeah, I'm definitely getting, uh, I mean, actually, if I'm, I mean, it makes sense because it, it wants to come out this direction, so I get even more flow if I have it tilted like this. Um, so I might just have to redesign this thing all together. I'm going to try this new one I just designed. I actually made it, besides that, I made it uh, thicker, too, and bigger here. Um, actually, let me get on this one. I made it thicker here, like the channels are bigger down here. That'd actually more room. It might be a close fit right on there, but all right. Let's try it again. Actually I'm gonna take that off. Okay. Maybe actually this might be a better angle here. And, uh... Yeah now I feel like I'm getting too much flow on the top. And at the back here, I'm not getting as much flow. And I can, well, besides this, the meter, I can actually feel it with my hand. I'm just feeling like it's... Oh yeah, I'm getting definitely a lot of airflow right there. Yeah, a lot right there. Yeah, a lot right here. So I guess back to the drawing board here. Yeah, this thing is just taking too. I I brought the vein over too much, so it's channeling too much air now to the front. Um, yeah, the, I said the goal is to kind of make it even between the different vin, fins here. So I might have to come from the bottom. And, all right, I'm gonna go back into fusion and fix something out. All right, so we're doing a test print with the new, uh, new fans, with the new uh, blower tips here. I mean, I have a lot of different ideas for different ways to make this better. Um, yeah, I'm just changing like the flow. Like I said, I, I, I can tell um, it doesn't look very good, obviously. So um, yeah, I'm definitely trying to avoid putting some kind of. I mean, I could easily put a park going fan on there, but I don't want to do that because I'm trying to keep the weight down. Um, all right, I have, yeah, I have different ideas of bringing the things up and down and around. Um, I even actually might even go like a full square, you know, all the way around the bed 100%, you know? You know, when you're designing 3D printers, you're not going to get in the first shot. Like, before I got this whole quad bed leveling thing to work on the Orca, I mean, I had probably 20 fails, probably. All right, take a look. Out in the sun. Big difference. See? Just getting the right airflow. And now I'm going to work on some retraction settings, dial the retraction. See? Look at that huge difference. Like I said, I really haven't done any major any tuning with this thing. I'm just trying to get the airflow correct. All right, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna keep on. Uh, I'm gonna do another set of these, but I think I'm gonna do is make it th this air, this hole even smaller, to make the air move faster. Yeah, look how fast that thing is moving. And like I said, we're trying to design this for new this channel. This printer was designed for speed. Look how fast it goes. <laughs> I go from tower to tower. Yeah, I, I just gotta dial in the cooling and reaction, and then I'll start going crazy with the speed. That's nuts. Alright, we're gonna test right here. I changed the dyne again, made the hole smaller. 
better airflow. Yeah, the definitely, I love the, the lights. I don't know if you saw that, but I added lights to it on the side. Cobb LED strips. They're actually running on a 24 volt uh, system, not like a RGB, five volt. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is maybe add a bushing in the front here too as well. Um, a second bushing to keep it a little bit more stable in the front. So redesign the front part, add a, like another bushing to keep it, so one in the back, two in the, two in the side here to give it more stability here. So every single time I do something, the, the print quality improves. All right, so that's my latest one here. It goes, these are my, that's my oldest and latest. As you can see that it is improving. I started getting some rippling here, but I'm still dialing in the, uh, I'm also a little bit ghosting there. But I think a lot of this rippling is it's playing my axis. So that's why I'm actually at ordering another bushing. I'm going to redesign the hot end part of it to have another attachment for the bushing. Probably won't be able to see that. I'm not sure if I'm getting it on the camera or the light's good enough. But So I usually compare them. I mean, you can see how the cooling, I was modifying the cooling. It was getting better and better and better. So um, let's compare the last two. See, it's getting better. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm making the deck hole smaller. I might even try making it smaller again. Still, that's not good in that corner. Yeah, then you can see. Yeah, I got to get that thing solved. Though. Yeah, this is probably my best print so far. I, I can cr I increase the pressure advance. So I'm trying to also get rid of those little ridges in there. Well, this one I had, a, a, obviously, I, I think I hit the axis and I had, like, a layer shift. So. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stabilize the, the, the movement and the axis so I don't have so much play in there. Yeah, cooling looks better with a couple strings. I also it started messing with the retraction a little bit. So, I mean, yeah, there's improvements, and then I kind of mess with the, hit the, trying to figure out where the noise is coming from. Yeah, because I get, like, a lot of vibration noise. So, if you have vibration, right, it's just going to, that vibration is going to get put in your print. So, I ordered the new bushings, the, those oil impregnated graphite bushings. So, I'm going to put another one in the front to stabilize the front. I need to get rid of that noise, you know what I mean, that rubbing noise. Yeah, so the, so far this is the best print so far. I mean, it's actually, it's, it's kind of acceptable at this point. I mean, not great. I mean, it's not 100%. Definitely not like the Orca. But I still need to mess around with the pressure advance here. Because I, I, can, I can go back to where I had no pressure advance and see if there's any improvement, you know. Or if I went too far, you know. All right, well, I'm going to keep on playing with it. I was just going to give you guys a status update of what I'm doing with this printer. So I'm chugging away at it. Not going to stop until it's perfect. It's too much fun. All right, cool.